Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be showing you how to pair and use the Fluval Marine Spectrum and Marine Nano Spectrum Bluetooth LED along with the all new Fluval Smart App for your mobile device. Um, before we get into all that, we just want to make sure that you've connected your light uh, to your power source correctly. You can see the uh, illustration on screen uh, to help guide you with that. Once that's done, you're going to want to go to either the Google Play or the App Store to download Fluval Smart. Um, I'm on an Android device, so I'm going to go to the Google Play Store. And I'm going to search Fluval Smart, all one word. Bring up that app page and go ahead and install it. This could take a little bit of time depending on your internet speed. So with the app downloaded, let's go ahead and open it. Important to note, guys, that the app uh, version you see in front of you may change over time. Uh, we always bring new uh, and great updates for you guys. So essentially, you just want to make sure before you go and do anything that you've set either your country or your language. In this particular version of the app, I'm going to go into settings down below in the bottom right corner. You pick your language. It defaults to English as an auto, so you would go ahead and select your language. Click OK. Along the bottom as well, just quickly, you have web, which uh, will give you direct links to certain online resources from Fluval. In this case, we have our YouTube channel with some special how-to videos and other great tips and tricks. There'll be some other things uh, changing from time to time, so check that out every once in a while. And in the bottom left corner, we have devices, which brings me back to our, our, um, our menu page or our home screen. We have the plus symbols, which you're going to want to hit to pair your device. So what this does is it now scans the vicinity to see what, um, what Fluval Bluetooth devices are, are in your area. In my case, I have a strip light and a nano light, and I'll explain why in a little bit. For the purpose uh, of training on, on the Fluval Smart, I'm going to go ahead and select the first one, which is the strip light. So I'm going to press in the box. You'll see a green check mark appear. And below, I'm going to want to press the red check mark to engage that light. It now confirms on screen that that is the device that is connected. So, um, sorry, just to note the BLE and extension code, that is the blue chip ID code. So we'll go ahead and rename that in a little bit. I'll show you how, just wanted to explain what that was. So if I select on the row, it now officially connects the light. It will ask you whether you want to go into manual or auto mode to enter your light settings. The white shaded box designates which operator mode you're in. In this case, it's manual, and I'll start with that. Quite simply, guys, you just move your sliders up and down to adjust the intensity of whichever color you want. And as you can see, the light obviously changes as I do that. Below that, you have P1 to P4. Uh, if I want, I can press and hold either one of those buttons and save up to four uh, different settings in memory. P stands for program. And below that, you can turn your light on and off. Now in auto mode, if I go back up to the top and I select auto, you'll note there's a graph. This designates visually a 24 hour light cycle for your settings that you have below that you can set for sunrise, midday or daylight if you would, sunset and night settings. So let's go ahead and show you that guys. If I go into sunset, I can adjust my start and stop times here. And note as I adjust my parameters, note that the graph changes. This happens for all, all your settings in this uh, auto mode. So I'll go ahead and change that. I'll click save. Midday or daylight, this is where you're going to want to again slide uh, your color channels however you want. And this is basically adjusting your intensity. So I'll go ahead and click save once I'm happy with that. Sunset, just like sunrise, I'll enter my start and stop times. Let's say I'm happy with that. And finally, your nighttime settings. Again, you'll just adjust these however you want. Maybe I want to keep that low, maybe a little bit of blue for moon. And click save. In the very bottom of your screen, you'll see uh, three choices. Let's start from the right. We have preview. If I select preview, note there's a now red vertical bar um, scrolling across my timeline. 
This basically shows you uh, in 30 to 60 seconds, it represents your 24 hour light cycle. So you can preview what that's gonna look like for your day. And as it hits my sunrise, you can note that the light is now getting more intense and it'll basically top off during my midday or daylight settings. And then you would see it um, dim down once it reaches the, uh, the sunset feature. So I'll go ahead and pause that for the purpose of the video to speed things along. In the bottom center, we have save as. So if I'm happy with my settings, I can click in there and I can save it as, let's call it light one. And I'll click save. Finally, export in the bottom left corner. These are your light profile settings. So you can export or bring up any one of these. Note that light one, which I just saved, is at the bottom. If I saved more, it would just add to this list and I could remove them or export them means to engage that light or bring up that light parameter. There's also three presets with the marine uh, lights. You have deep sea glow, sunny reef, or color boost. These are for those people who may just want to kind of go in, have it easy, and just press one button and have uh, one of these three popular light settings um, be engaged. So let's say I wanted Sunny Reef, I would select that and hit export, and note the light changes. In the top right corner, guys, we have a pencil icon and a magnifying glass icon. The pencil icon allows me to rename my device. So again, it defaults to the blue. Uh, the Bluetooth uh, ID chip code that uh, I mentioned earlier in the video. Let's just say I want to name this Marine One. Click Save. And in the top right uh, corner, a very cool little feature, the magnifying glass. If I have two or more lights um, and I want to keep track of which one I'm entering light settings for, if I can't remember which one I named what, if I press that magnifying glass icon, Note that the light that is engaged that I'm entering settings for will blink. So this just bring this is just an easy way to for you to know which light you're entering settings for if you have multiple lights. If I go back to my home screen, you'll see that my light has been renamed Marine One. That's it, guys. That's Fluval Smart in a nutshell. Um, we welcome any questions or comments in the thread below, or as always, you can always hit us up at fluvalaquatics.com. Thanks for watching.